Oh my god, the howling, howling vortex. vortex. Ooh. Typically formed as a result of the collapse of a very massive star at the end of its life cycle. Black holes have extremely strong gravity fields to prevent anything, including light, from escaping once the event horizon has been crossed. Now, one of the things I learned about, which is interesting, mm. I'll see if I can find one. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll keep an eye out for them, but I, I've started to notice them. I saw a post on Reddit, because oh, yeah. uh, this is where I get all my information from. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's just send off the Howling Vortex. That is cool. What a cool name. Yeah. <laughs> let's uh, send off over here. Or actually, maybe maybe I should go to the very outer rim. Should I go to the, like, the far, the far, the farthest reaches of the galaxy and come back round? Sure. Yeah. Okay, I'll do that. Because uh, this is the end of our area. So our end of our arm, isn't it? Yeah, I'll do the do the rest. I think we'll need a tech to get across like the void. Possibly. I don't know. It seems like can we just move. Maybe they can only go this distance. Uh, so if yeah. he gets to this start and that's within reach, he'll he'll be alright. Yeah, because he wants to know where he's going. But I assume he'll need like slightly faster. Um, yeah, warp drive things. Okay, we've researched so, um, survey speed. What was that thing on um, Reddit? Oh, yeah, I'll get back to it in a second. Okay. Um, so, look, yeah, these sensors, I think, just to let you see further, I don't think they increase the survey speed. Okay, so think, maybe we've got two different things. One is that the survey speed is better, and we've got the sensors we can add on to our ships. Yes. Oh, what's this purple one? Oh. Rare technology. <gasps> it's a rare spawning tech. We've got to get that. Nice. It's epic tech. An observatory. <laughs> Planet sensor range increased. Physics output, society output, engineering output. Nice. Increased. 10% science. Well, how much science are we getting off the planet? Uh, it's up the top. We've got six, six, and seven. So at the moment, it would only give us 0.5 to each. Well, I don't think it would even give that, would it? Because the planet's only getting like one science, isn't it? Uh, yeah, if you look up the top, six, six, well, seven. Well, no, but, but. No, but. I think, I think our like HQ building gives us five as standard. Mm. Well, maybe not. Maybe that's just a base level. I've got to do it. It's rare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you yeah. I haven't got a choice. It might not come back again. I might be regretting it. Yeah. It's a purple one. It's rare. Uh, let's actually just quickly grab this guy and get him to build here. Oh, no, well, we can build our colony ship, can't we? We're already doing oh, it. Oh, we're already doing yeah, it. It's, oh, on, okay. it's on the go. Wicked. It's halfway built, look. Oh, um, sweet. Yeah, so what was it? Oh, yeah, so there's, this thing, there's these things uh, called orphans, mm-hmm. okay, which are words. So if you look at something, yeah. and uh, I'll see if I can find one. I might not be able to find one. And it tends to be a thing where you have... Uh, like like almost like this. This is close, but it's not right. Mm-hmm. So at the end of this, at the end of this, this is this is, this is automatically a difficult sentence to read because mm-hmm. it's th- an orphan is a word that's left over, like a full sentence with just one word left over. And the reason it's a problem is because when you have a, a par- set of paragraphs, mm. it looks really awkward to just have oh one see, word it doesn't there. fit right on the line. So there's a bunch of them in Hearthstone, and that's where I yeah. saw someone wrote a big article about. Orphans in Hearthstone. Oh man, which sounds a bit, um, a bit weird. Yeah, uh, but I've, I've sort of, I've, I've been noticing them at sort of in other, in other places recently as well. Right, and they just look weird. Take it, here's an orphan. Okay, yeah, a larger asteroid or planet is standing out in a dense cluster of smaller bodies. See, but, but the bodies looks kind of out on its own. Yeah, you can't skim read it as easily. Yeah, and it's, and it also, it's sometimes annoying because it's half like so. so in Hearthstone, it's quite a lot of them which are like. Um, Draw and then a card. Yeah. Or draw a and then card. Well, you've got such a narrow text box, I suppose. I mean, you only get like three or four words on Basically, line. I think the way it's been organised is that they just have it programmed in, mm. the, the formatting, rather that. So, for, for example, in this, like the way it's coded is that um, you've got like a whole bunch of, uh, of, of, of 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 Excel spreadsheets, if you like, yeah. with all of the data in, and then it just, just yeah. it just randomises it into it, um, and so it doesn't, it's not it's not hand formatted because no. a computer would have trouble. Um, yeah, it's just a fixed box, and then it just dumps the text in. Yeah, regardless. Yeah, it's it's the computer's not going to resize this box, is it? Or, yeah, or like it, it, edit the words. Yeah, or or, or or do something about spacing to fix it. Yeah. Yeah, it just looks a bit weird, that's all. Huh. Um, but yeah, now every time you, you, you see an orphan, you'll notice it and you'll be like, oh, that's annoying. <laughs> yeah, now, yeah, once you see it, you can't unsee yeah. it. There we go, that's another oh, research, research station done. done. So, um, good work. Man, this is my home world, okay. What else can they. You know, there's nothing else to build here, is there? That's it. So let's head out to. I can't even go to Ramanox. 
this hasn't even been surveyed properly. We haven't s- surveyed it yet. We can get a Sirius. Right, let's, let's, let's sort out some mining factories on Sirius then. All right, constructor, on with you. Oh, what was that? Uh, that was that was the, that, yeah, was that the, yellow ship. The space amoebas. So, what was the quest for the space amoebas? Ninety days. I have to do more research. Okay, so we can look into them further uh, if we want. After we've done the current thing, what's he up to? He's doing the frontier clinics. Right. System surveys. Two system surveys completed. Okay, okay. so we got the Sarvasic system. Who's here? Sarvasics. It's nothing. Oh. It's just the sun. Just Archer. Ab- absolutely nothing, Archer. Oh, should we um, try and upgrade the scanners? See if we can do that without going home. Uh, yeah, I think so. I think uh, the problem is I think it's in the designer, right? Okay, so, so let's grab the NX. So let's chuck the, the that design. Yeah, and then we want the NX. Now I think is it that that radar thing on the um, uh, on the right hand side? It's a small. F- oh. Yes. That is it. So the sensor range is tw- goes from 20 to 25. Okay. I think it only detects ships, though. Right. Um, well, it wouldn't hurt to put them on. We've, we've researched them. On the new on the new research vessel, the NX-02. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, and can we upgrade the existing ships then? Let's see if, how that works. If we save this. Yeah. Um, mind spark core. So it must be this must be the mind spark design. Right. Now we can upgrade the small fission reactor to a. We can just add more reactors. I guess we can put more to make it go faster. Uh, sure, science ships need to go fast, right? Uh, well, let's have a look because the power went up, but I don't know if the speed went up. Oh, speed still 0.5. Oh, hang on, I'll take them off then. I think you just the more equipment you put on, the more power you need to, to power it. Oh, so the speed didn't actually change. No. Yeah, just the power. So uh, it says fishing reactor there, but it turns into a small one. Oh, I guess, look, there's small, medium, and uh, large. I guess it depends on the ship type. I see, and this must be a small ship, or these are small slots. Yeah. So we can't put anything up here. There's no other warp yeah, drive. Just haven't researched anything. There's no other science lab, and there's no other chemical. Right, so we're done. Cool. Uh, and then I guess let's grab the Enterprise and see if we can upgrade. Yeah. Upgraded. Oh, no, but it is moving to Earth to do it. Ah. Uh, so we, although we do need to research those two planets next to Earth that we haven't looked at yet. So it depends. I mean, we could bring one of them back to do that. Oh, I'm too far away. Yeah, let's leave the Enterprise going and then Janeway can come He's back. He's on a mission already. He can't yeah. take off his mission. Cool. He's got a, The sensors aren't that important. He's got to survey everything and hopefully not die. Um, man, this is great. I'm loving this. So Janeway, of course, meanwhile, finished her scan of the Nithascal system. Oh, there's something for her to check out on that asteroid. Is there? Some kind of mysterious crater. Oh, yeah, there was. That's right. I didn't look at this when it came up because I thought, I'll just let her finish and then I'll come back to it. Home to a number of exquisite impact craters. However, something <laughs> Ooh, breaks. Of all the impact craters I've ever seen. The visual uniformity in one of them. These are exquisite. Oh, what was that? Uh, home. All right, that's it. Okay, cool. Go and have a look at that, Jane Wayne. Get back to me, uh, and then we'll check on our research. Uh, I think. Oh, we've did the we did the space Amoeba's research, so that's done. Yeah. So actually, I might be able to. Oh no, I'm going to send her back to uh, Tiamat next. Tau Ceti's fully scanned, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's um, just uh, R- Romanox and Bernard Star at some point. Yeah, I mean they're the out. closest ones to us, and we didn't scan them. No, we got a bit carried away. We got scared of the amoebas. <laughs> yeah. So after after we've scanned the Tiamat one, mm-hmm. which I think uses our green research, we'll then do the space amoeba investigation. That only take ninety days. That's pretty. Yeah, we could just do it now, to be honest. That's pretty cheap. Like let's, Janeway let's, won't even be there in ninety days. Let's do it. She's going to take a little while. It's all going pretty smoothly, isn't it? We found a lot of anomalies. We found some planets. We've the weeping, checked out the space amoebas. The weeping ghost nebula. That sounds, that sounds spooky. We found Ooh. a black hole. Yeah. The howling vortex. We found the creepy doll factory. The creepy doll factory. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> We've got a bunch of quests we're supposed to be sort of working on, investigating the space amoebas. That's all happening. And I think our colony ship on Earth has finished. Oh, perfect. So is this it here? Colony ship UNS Australia. 
It's named after the now defunct country. The uh, the colony, yeah. Of Australia. Australia sank into the sea <laughs> milli- millennia <laughs> should we, should ago. We just piled everyone who lived in Australia into a spaceship. I guess it wasn't millennia ago. It's only it's only twenty two or seven. So it was only a hundred years ago it sank into the sea. Oh. I assume it just it, it just did when the ice caps melted, <laughs> the whole thing just went under 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 oh, the water. Uh, it got dragged under by the Great Barrier Reef. It just <laughs> like <laughs> it just mutated into tentacles and I dragged. I don't think the Great Barrier Reef will be around. That's definitely going to be gone in the next uh, couple of hundred years, isn't it? Yeah, probably. Oh, we're running a bit of a budget deficit. Oh, losing the credit. But a that's day. okay. We got a b- good backup, so maybe it's not a real problem right now. And once we colonize, perhaps this will go away the budget deficit but actually running I mean, a new colony tends yeah, to yeah they cost... tend to cost you some money for a while until they get up and running are we heading to Alpha Centauri I think that's the best best looking planet oh look it does say this planet actually ah. oh, see look it only shows it though on the colony ship when you have a colony ship screen there's, there's two colonies oh yeah there are but they're small aren't they they're small planets on yeah there were teeny weeny ones there right we're going to Alpha Centauri that was that was where we wanted to go oh, look, we've already pre-built those, um, those stations and we're going to place it here. Cool. I guess that, that's where our base will be, right? Yeah, he's on the go. All right. Well, I guess that is now going. He's off. Uh, he's off to first humans to colonize a new world. Can you believe it? So did you hear about the um, the people who have applied to colonize Mars? Oh, well, not it really. Like a while, well, that's not exactly it. But what happened? That's the headline, wasn't it? Um, so this might not be entirely true. This is what I've gleaned from various headlines. Um, is that they... They're considering sending a, um, a a one-way trip to Mars um, with like enough equipment to build a uh, a dome to live in. Um, you'll almost certainly die yeah. before you know your natural life would normally end. Something will go wrong, and there's no way for anyone to send any help or anything. How long does it take to get there? I can't remember. I think it's like a couple of years or something. Man, um, and there's so many things that can go wrong. You know, if the, the radiation shielding breaks or any anything breaks, you're just instantly dead. And um, so they've they sent out a call saying, who wants to go? And, like, thousands of people have applied and said, I've got nothing to live for on Earth. I'm, I want on the one-way death ship, please. <laughs> <laughs> and um, they're having to, like, interview them and weed them down to, like, the most, like, mentally stable, um, most, like, able people. Because you don't want to send a bunch of, like, you know, psychos out. And the kind of people who volunteer for this, there's probably a high proportion of psychos. Oh, crap. Um, Man, would you would you go on the the one way death trip to Mars? Uh, the, well, this is this is. Oh, oh my god! I've got to on. stop my rambling. We've got some serious shit going down. That's right. We'll catch up with you normally in a bit. Uh, well, one way trip to Mars. I I don't think I would right now. It sounds a bit dangerous, doesn't no, it? I think the best thing you can get out of it is your name goes on a list of like the first people to you know live on a new planet. Well, well do you know what though? We're not really designed to live in space there's a lot of problems with it with the gravity and the air and the vitamins and the sun and just we we evolved over millions of years on 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 this planet yeah with this environment and i think that when you mess around with with all the things it, it can be a bit a bit weird you know you see those people who've been in space for like you know that guy who played the guitar in space? Mm. Um, what's his name? Colonel uh, oh, yeah. Milton Bradley. I well, no, his name's no, no. He's he's like an old general. <laughs> <laughs> what's his name? Um, oh, uh, I, I forget. Yeah, the, the famous guy. He did. Um, did he do uh, David Bowie? Yeah, he went the David Bowie in space <laughs> on his guitar. He did that. Yeah, that's so, the name of the song, I think. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh my god, there's too much going on. Shit. So, Janeway... She just keeps finding bloody craters. Uh, she found a particularly... On a particularly large crater, a cluster mm. of metal shapes, doubtlessly of alien origin. Oh, planetary... They are massive planetary mounted propulsion p- devices intended wow. to push the asteroid from its orbit. The UNS Pioneer is on standby. It's crew ready to begin disassembly. Check Ow. that shit out. I and we will see get the... a technology from it. Ion thrusters. Sweet. Good so work, we just researched ion thruster... Whoa, chill, everyone, chill. 
<laughs> you can just imagine you're sat in Wait the present. Wait your turn. You're sat in Starfleet HQ, and Busting there's just like in. six people <laughs> bursting through the door. I'm like, going, sir, sir. <laughs> this is, I'm reading this document about iron thrusters. It's like, space <laughs> amoebas, <laughs> sir. Yeah. This is way more important. <laughs> right, so anyway, there's some new thrusters. Great job. Great job, guys. Uh, space amoebas. <laughs> oh, man, I feel bad for that scientist. He's just spent two years, like, making the best thrusters you've ever seen, and he's just, you've just gone, yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> the fu- they make us faster than they fine. <laughs> no, no, we discovered the thrusters on the <laughs> asteroid. The nickname now lovingly popularised Earth are solitary yeah. animals when left to their own devices. All but the youngest specimens are accompanied by quasi-independent organisms. Oh, Jesus, what the flip is all this? Oh, in English, please, scientist. We're just like that action Can movie you give president. Me, like, the, <laughs> give, the, give me the bullet point <laughs> English, please, for fuck's sake. Uh, uh, okay, so basically they've, they've got flagella capable of manipulating attacking objects. Oh. There are potential military applications. So I see. we can learn the flagelling, flag, flagellating <laughs> movement modifier. Oh, man. Giving can, the following effect, does, invasion plus five. Does that mean like when you're coming under attack, the captain on the bridge has to go, initiate flagellation? That's right. <laughs> it's like the, the flagellation systems are offline, <laughs> sir. <laughs> They sound a bit lame, I have to say. <laughs> the flagellators are damaged. <laughs> yeah. Engage port flagellators, sir. <laughs> sir. That's, oh, that's not what they say. Amazing. So that is done. Anyway, I can I can now send her to TMA. I think. Okay. Can we put the new engines on our ships? I think. Probably. Like we've got our warships that are just sat on Earth doing nothing. Let's put the super engines on them. All right. Fine. Hang on. Let me just I send use all Janeway to, to Tiamat. Oh, I have to flip in send her there. Uh, Janeway, go and research that project. Okay, good. Uh, Archer, colony ship. Hang on, let me just oh, double so check. Just to recap, that's, ship. is that the giant um, skeleton that we found on the planet that she's No, that out? is... Oh, yeah, that's the planetary bomb bomb. That's the Erassian... Uh, right, the ancient bombarded colony. colony. Yeah. All right. Cool. Jesus. We've got to find six of them. There's probably more than six out there in that case. I hope so. Bloody big old universe. Um, so yeah, I, I played this a different game of this, by the way, and I got a completely different quest. Oh, that's cool. Um, it was actually a quest. I'll tell you about it. And I don't know whether it will come up, but it was a mm-hmm. quest that said, you know, Earth is dying. Mm. The planet is dying. And so we're, we're worried that it's coming to the end of its natural life cycle. Oh. You have to go and find eight other planets that have also died. And so oh. there was like specific planets marked on the radar, and it was like wow, just like these barren worlds. Yeah, like but they had all died in a different way. So one of them was like had been torn apart. One of them was like eaten by a giant space whale. Wow. One of them was like I don't know, like got stuck in a <gasps> wormhole. It was cool, and I had to look for them. And I was hoping yeah. that we'd get that quest. But you know what? I'm okay. So instead, yeah, we've got, we've got investigate ancient... giant skeleton, space amoebas, and um, six limbed ancient civilizations. I mean, bear in mind. We've been playing this now for a couple of hours. Yeah. You guys have been joining us on this adventure. And I'm glad we're not doing this multiplayer in a little bit, in a little way. I'm, uh, hang on. Uh, let me, I'll, I'll talk about this in a second. Let me just... <laughs> yeah, one thought at a time. Let me just get on with this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, flip sake. So, <laughs> well, did, did you see, sorry to add another thing to this this thing, but they, we, we saw an alien world, like an alien civilization, if you zoom out. Oh, yeah, I saw. There was a question mark. We didn't know which empire it belonged to. The Yamazar. Yeah, the Yamazar. Unidentified empire. So we know they're here. Yeah. But we don't know whereabouts there they are. I want to I wanna talk to them. All right, so... I guess everyone's busy. We'll wait till someone finishes whatever they're doing. Everyone's busy. It's fine. They're all busy. A space amoebas were detected. That was a bit worried because the space amoebas went to Alpha Centauri. Oh. But... Um, I because I saw them there, and so I was thinking. Hmm. But fortunately, they left before. Oh, okay, cool. They're not going to eat our colony ship before we found. And this this mining station is already working away at mining it from from space, I guess. Encounter. Oh, for God's sakes! We've encountered some strange form of alien. Oh, some new. Some hydra. Some more space some animals. More aliens. All right, colonize. Go. Is it happening? Yeah, thirty percent. Twenty percent. Thirty percent. Okay, there's a timer. Oh, please, nothing else pop up <laughs> yeah. while we're doing this. Okay, Hooray! the first human colony. A colony ship has gently touched down at the mouth of a large river delta on Asgard. Mm. Who named that? Was nice. it the Swedes? <laughs> yeah, I think there's some um, Nordic folk on that colony Nordic ship. Nordic folk on board. 
this temperate forested region will serve as an ideal first. So it's, it's, isn't Asgard like uh, something from Norse mythology? Like, it's like home of the gods or something? It's, or something yeah, so, it's, or, like a Mount, it's like the Norse version of Mount Olympus, I think. Might not be, but, it, but maybe it's also the afterlife? No, that's Valhalla. Yeah, it's something to do with some, some realm, isn't it? It's definitely a realm. Well, it's in, yeah, in like the Marvel films, it's where Thor's from. Oh, right. That's the planet Well, maybe they live on. this is Thor's planet. <laughs> oh, man, maybe we'll be Thor. <laughs> no, maybe maybe we meet maybe anyone born the next person who is born here we have to label them Thor or whatever I don't know who knows figure it out hmm. the ship has been permanently converted into the administrative headquarters of the new settlement very clever oh, nice. reactor core is in the process of being removed so it can be the temporary power oh, source hundreds clever. of small tents oh man and immediately in my mind I'm picturing um, new Caprica in Battlestar Galactica yeah do you remember that where like the ships landed and they set up this little shanty town around the ships and Baltar's just sat in in the ship as is like presidential HQ full of like coke and hookers oh man it's progressing very well yeah I think we're going to take a little break here thanks for joining us guys see you next time cool bye bye bye